What is up, the world? Uh, playing a little bit of Eve Online, doing some crabbing, <laughs> making some isk. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, actually streamed. Um, getting situated into the new house and everything, so it's uh, kind of a fun move and adventure in my life. So it's nice to be able to come back and stream a little bit. And yeah. Um, yeah, so kind of explain what EVE is. It's a MMO online, uh, it's basically a space game. You can fly ships, you have skills that you have to go into. Each ship can be individually modded to how you want to play. And this is my ship right now that I'm doing C5 ratting in. Uh, yeah, just having a good time trying to kill a drifter. So I thought I'd take you guys on the adventure since I'm pretty much alone and yeah. We'll go from there. So this is a Varger, a Marauder class spaceship. Um, it takes a little bit of skill points to get into. And uh, it makes doing these kind of things a little bit easier. The drifter is not easy by any means. And even I can still screw up if I don't have the right system and right fits going on. So a lot of watching and knowing what you're doing is involved in doing these C5s, but once you figure it out, it's kind of easy to make some misc here. So today we're gonna farm a few sites, do a few things, and uh, yeah, welcome to the adventure. Um, I've been playing EVE for some time, off and on, since 2007. Um, some years I skipped, some I didn't, and uh, I played EVE in a time when it was kind of like the Wild West, where you lost skill points if you didn't have your clone upgraded, and I've done that a few times on a couple drunken nights, so say la vie, and now we're back into playing it again after a year and a half. Um, found this awesome corp that I've been in, and they also do some streaming, which has kind of pushed me to do some streaming, which is uh, really nice. So right now we're in a section of space, a couple off of our main hole, which I will not tell you where we are because don't need any of that drama in my life. But yeah. As you can see, this guy is uh, eating my capacitor, but um, I got enough implants on myself to kind of keep that going and keep all stuff going. So I don't die. I also have some consumables just in case, you know, something bad happens. I can consume these things, which will also help for my capacitor and my core. But uh, we shouldn't need to get into that. This drifter is the last fight of this site. Um, I've killed all his little friends here. They're all dead and in a nice pile of wrecks. So... What we're going to have to do at this point now is when he gets close to, I think it's 40 or is it 25% armor, he's going to try to warp away. So at 60%, I'm going to activate a bubble, which is the most dangerous part of this whole ratting session. Because anybody can warp in and try to kill me or escalate the system and I won't be able to warp away. Because when I put that bubble, it basically makes a whole destruction area where I can't warp in or warp out, but that goes the same for the drifter and anybody else, which kind of makes it either are you trapped in here with me or am I trapped in here with you kind of situation. But yeah, here we go, just killing away, enjoying, doing some damage. Thought I'd join this nice morning of crabbing while I drink some coffee. Hmm. A nice beautiful day it snowed last night which kind of sucks but it looks like it's starting to melt so i'm kind of happy about that if you're not sure where i'm from i'm in canada a wonderful province of alberta probably get some anger towards that but hey say la vie currently at 86 percent hey how you doing Get to come and view my wonderful crabbing session of just pewing at a guy floating through space.
Any questions, feel free to answer, uh, to ask them, and I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. Won't say I'll always get it right, but we can always Google them afterwards. I have a job. You know that. <laughs> How you doing, Alex? Nice to see you guys coming and joining. Um, right now I'm doing C5 uh, ratting. So basically, um, I come into the C5s and um, I do, right now I'm doing what's called a garrison, a core garrison. There are several sites here. Oh, I, I kind of ignored all the signals, but let's uh, clear the ignore signals. So I'm doing these core garrisons. They're in C5 wormhole space and um, yeah, C5 ratting. Um... I'm in a Varger, which has a lot of good skills to it, so I don't have to really worry about anything going on. Oh, thank you for following. Yeah, it's uh, I have a really good ship. My ship is worth quite a bit, and so are the implants that are in my head. But uh, I'll go through my ship right now and show you what I have. Thank you again for following, Mission. Miss Mid River? Uh, middle River? Yeah, Miss River. Sorry about that. Yeah, so as you can see, my Varger's worth almost four bill. Uh, my implants are another about three bill that I'm in. And uh, I think I'm going to have to trigger this bubble here. I know, 10 more percent. <laughs> Blood presumed. Die reports to Twitch. Yeah. Doing some C5 ratting. Making some miss. So, this drifter alone, just this one drifter, is worth 300 bill. A uh, 300 mil, which is awesome. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> wow, a lot of people following this morning. I guess everybody loves Eve. <laughs> Maybe I should have been doing this a lot sooner. <laughs> But yeah, just doing one of these sites. So the site itself with just the rats is worth about 250 million. And then with the drifter, that's an added 300 million. Oh, thank you for all the follows, everybody. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate it all. Yeah. is to be used. <laughs> All right, Alex, see you later. That's all right. What are you playing? What are you doing in Eve since it's such a massive world? Ah, moon mining. Gotta love moon mining. I'll probably do some of that later on on my ult. Wow, everybody's just doing moon mining. Gotta go where the real money is. Get into wormholes. Do some C5s. For about an hour's work, I make about 600 mil. Yeah, I kind of caught on to that. Trig hunting. Ooh, fun stuff. I didn't realize it advertised that I was uh, going through. You guys must have seen my thing through Manifest. Uh, not Manifest, through Nymph. It's cool that you're all here, though. <laughs> Ice sex always scary. That's why I stay in the wormhole.
Good times to be had by all. <sighs> Drifter's taking... I'm not even shooting the Drifter. Wow. I'm wondering why he's not dying. I'm like, this is taking longer than usual. I didn't realize my ammo went out because I got distracted with everybody uh, following my uh, stream. <laughs> Oh, there goes the bubble. Now I'm trapped in here with the drifter. Or is the drifter trapped in here with me? Yeah. Sorry, I keep looking at my second screen because I got my uh, eyes over there to make sure nothing uh, jumps in on me. Because <laughs> that would suck. I will. I enjoy doing this. I I joined Wormhole Space just to do this. I enjoy doing um, C5 crabbing, and I'd like to do C6 eventually. I'm just ratting in it. So I live in a couple holes off of this one. Like I said, I won't give out any details because, uh, well, don't need that happening. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, it just takes one bad apple to ruin it for everybody. Yeah, that's why I have all the information hidden. No, don't need that voodoo in our live. So, for now, we'll just do this. Do, do, do. 47, start on anchoring this soon. Yeah, it looks like we're going to do a bit of crabbing today. My goal is to hit four bill. Um, if we get there, we get there. If we don't, we don't. Kind of a hit and miss. Because if somebody comes in and ruins the day, well, that's just that. That'll be the end of that. And then we'll be looking at some other things we can do today. Probably some scouting and some C3s and the Loki. Who knows? So how knows everyone's day going? I see I have six viewers, so how are you guys all doing? Is your day going great? Mine's beautiful and sunny. Sure, it's still like two degrees outside and, you know, possibly wet and snowy, but it's a good day. Yesterday was 13 degrees. It was beautiful here in Alberta. I absolutely loved it. Went to the park with my girls. They loved it. It was a great day. Any day I get to go out with the girls is a good day. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, nice. Portugal. Jeez, how nice is it there? I wish I was in the nice warm Portugal air. Go swimming in the ocean or something. I love the ocean. And South Africa. Bear, bear. <laughs> Sheep, get in here so you can do all my uh, salvaging for me. I'm in Turkey. Wow, everybody around the world this morning. I like that. Been to Vermont. I used to live in um, Montreal, so I used to go down to Vermont a lot, actually. Ugh. Stuck in an office. That sucks. See, I would love to grow up to the next sea. And I wish that, you know, my girls would see the sea more. I got a huge mountain range before I can get to the closest ocean to us. I think it's like a 19-hour drive. But I plan to take the girls there when they're a little bit older and do some camping. Right on the ocean. That would be cool. Module has run out of charges. Oh no. Ow. 
That's kind of funny. A kid watching kids. <laughs> I don't think you want to go there right now, though. <laughs> yeah, Canada's so massive. Um, I think the last time I drove across it, and we could only drive six hours a day because we had the kids. They were babies at the time, like newborns. Um, so we drove six hours a day, but it took us six, six days, seven days, six and a half days, we'll say, to go across. Oh, thank you. I thought I did it all, and now you've seen it. But you don't know which home hole I'm in, but thank you for the advice. I did not catch that. It would take some people some time, and I'm also watching. I got, like, eyes all over the hole, too. So. Well, you can try. We do have enough people online to do a force back, I think, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how many people would actually respond. Everyone's working. That's why I like ratting at this time, because it's nice and quiet, do my own thing, listen to my music. Well, I'm pretty sure we're safe to unanchor this bubble now. I like to just do the little extra, just to make sure. You know, that's all good and done until one day it's not. <laughs> just like, I was going... I was exploring through a hole, and then I was doing some gas harvesting. And uh, guys like, oh, we're friendly, we're friendly. And, you know, I kind of didn't believe him at first. And then I'm like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll trust him. Yep. Sure enough, five minutes later, four guys warp on me. I was on my D-scan making sure. But for, they warped in on me while I warped out. I'm like, yeah, freaking friendly. But that's Eve. Never fly anything you can't afford to lose. Number one rule. Number one rule. Well, you can trust people, but, uh, you know, just remember you come first. <laughs> and take their word for it. Yeah, sure. I won't believe you, though. <laughs> See? That's exactly my point. <laughs> See, I, I take everybody at face value. Do I believe you is another thing. I'll just be like, yeah, yeah, wonderful, yeah. And then I'm kind of like, mm, maybe not so much. <laughs> yeah, that's all you can. And if you can't trust your corp, really, there's not much you can do in EVE. Because you got to have some kind of line where you have to give trust into something and I've been running with these guys for uh, enough time now where they're pretty trustworthy <laughs> I got my bubble here he's about to die let's return these guys and uh, no, I won't. I was gonna unbash in, but it's just timings off. I'll be done after this one though. And there we go. There's a dead drifter. Oh, give me your loot. Uh, approach. Get ready for the next site. Move and grab this loot though, because I don't feel like dropping my mobile depot because then 
all that crap will probably be pulled first. Yes, it is. The problem is, is I lost my salvager and it's gone. But uh, you can get a lot of decent stuff here. So I have to get an ex extra salvager in the hole now. Yeah, it's the name of the game, right? But it happens. That's why I use a comorant and just load it up with salvagers. You lose it, you're not losing much. No, C3s is kind of a hit and miss. Um, doing the actual, um, well, what's that one called? The solar cells? Those ones are okay to salvage if you're going to salvage any. And let's look at the 300 mil. Let's loot that. Sack all. And then let's launch the yurt. So I'm going to have to refit here for the next site. What's up, Scott? How you doing? Playing some EVE Online. Making some moolah. Waiting for this yurt to anchor. Do do do. Yeah, like I said, the the C5 um, salvaging would be worth it, but lost my salvager, so there won't be any salvaging today. All that juicy loot, all gone. Now, if you guys are not sure what I'm doing, um, the actual site and the drifter is two different things, so you actually have to re- equip yourself so that you can do the site why isn't that there use fitting cool main so now we'll get ready for the next site which include now a lot of people would take off um this the damage control. I leave it on personally. I like just having that extra buffer. A little security there. But you can take off one of those. Don't need two of these. Put some bombs. And we're done. That's how easy it is. Because the drifter does a lot of nuding. So you actually have to have more capacity. So that you can heal and rep yourself. So you don't lose your energy. And that's why you put the uh, the energy suckers, I'll call them, for just quick sake here. So that you can get your cap back a little quicker. Now uh, we'll scoop this into cargo hole. Ghost online. That's alright. Uh, just going to verify everything because I kind of did everything quick there. Just make sure we're good. Golden, golden, golden. Next site. Everything's inside. Everything's not on site. Good. Delete this. And we're off to the next one. Warp to zero. Come fly with me. Fly, fly away. Man, I should have made more coffee before starting this. Decisions were made. Later on today, I'll be streaming some 3D printing because I got a couple things I need to do, but that'll be fun. Oh, here comes the next site. Well, first things first, let's move a little way this way. I like being a little closer. I didn't make the waypoints today. It was a friend of mine. I like to be a little closer, but that's just me. I don't think I'm going to get too close here. Yeah, they're already... Well, that was the end of that. Let's destroy these first. So, each wave, and there's four waves... Um, there's a trigger. So 
for the core garrisons that I'm doing, the awakened sentinels are the triggers. So if I were to kill these, it would start the next wave. So I'll basically do the towers, then do the frigates, and then do the cruisers. Um, each wave is a different trigger. I actually have a spreadsheet on my second screen that shows me everything. Um, I, I remember them, I just don't want to fuck up either, so <laughs> I always keep an eye on it, just so I know. Um, those of you don't that don't play EVE, there's a little bit of learning curve to this game. Um, it's not like you can just come in here and I, I want to do C5s. If you did that, you would, one, not be able to go in the ship, two, die really, really fast. Fly with me. So now that all the frigates are close, that's why we put the bombs on. Because for me to shoot them, I would one shot in like 40. We don't deal with that. So we have smart bombs. The smart bombs will actually take care of the frigates. I love smart bombs. Except for when you're trying to jump in low sec with a shuttle and somebody smart bombing a gate. That sucks. And if you do that, I hate you this much. I also respect you because I would do the same. Now let's start destroying these cruisers. Um, they do, but it takes a lot of damage, so if you're toggling them, like, uh, right now I have nothing out pulling them, so I got nothing close, but, uh, I'll have to be a little more careful doing these ones, my next ones, that, so I have frigates as the, um, trigger on my next wave, but then I don't see frigates again until the last wave, so it's not that bad. I tend to use my drones to kill the frigates on the last wave just because it makes it a little easier and then I don't have to pull my uh, MTU back in. Eve's a fun game, Scott. It's, uh, like I said, there's a learning curve there, but uh, start off small, figure out what you want to do. Eve has a lot of things you can do in it and there's no like set mission way to go. There's no storyline. Well, there is a storyline, but it's not really... It, Eve is what you make it, so you have to figure out what you want to do. Manufacture, pirating, you know, trying to do missions. It's all, or PvP. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's a very interesting game, and once you have... It's, it's yeah, it's a very large game. I'm in what's called wormhole space. But then, there is New Eden. Each dot is a solar system. Each solar system has planets and asteroids and everything else. And there's a lot of freaking dots. Yeah, I think he already made an account though. Because uh, Scott's my uh, nephew. So I'm pretty sure he already made an account. Fly with me. So now that the frigates are dead, I can start these smart bombs. And I'm going to launch my MTU so it starts. Oh, I almost launched the yurt. This guy, Wally, I called him, will start sucking in everything so that I don't have to go fly around and catch everything. He can once he gets skill points. I won't let him join until he has at least 10 million skill points and understands the game. At least with 10 million, he has a rounded view of Eve. You got to get everybody to do their first little initial thing. And then once they figure out what they're doing, then you bring them in. You can't just be like, come in wormholes, do what I'm doing. People lose their own way. They got to find their own love for the game. Yeah. How about 130? You want to compare scale points? Let's do it. Um, that's why I do these sites. So, doing these sites, um, I actually make enough to pay for my EVE account. I know it did. <laughs> that's why I said it. 
And you gotta think, I played EVE when you lose skill points. I went on a drunken rant one last, and I lost, oh man, I want to say easily 50 mil. I stopped playing for a little. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Yeah, I lost, uh, yeah, I lost a lot of skill points, man. I, I stopped playing EVE for two years after that because I lost 50 mil. What do you do with 50 mil? They're gone. And then I was just like, I'm done with this game. Then I got bored and I was just like, oh, let's give it another go. And then I stopped playing when I lost my Varger, my first Varger I was mission running in. And back then, Vargas weren't so much. Seven years, see? A lot of people, that's the whole thing. You play this, then you take a break, and then you come back. See, I keep paying for my account, so when I stop um, Eve paying for it, it'll start charging by year. So I always make sure that my training queue is huge. So when I do decide to take a break, that at least my training queue keeps going, and then I can come back and fly different things. As you can see, I'm sitting at almost uh, 500 days there. And just in case you guys were wondering, here's my skills. <laughs> yep, that's usually how it goes. And there's one battleship. Ah, ah, ah. Next battleship. Ah, ah, ah. Now, Scott, when you start playing this game, there's a few things. I used to pay cash for all 12 of my accounts. Oh, Jesus. That would hurt. That's expensive for 12 accounts. But, if this is all you played, you know, it makes sense. Pretty much, Scott. So, in Scott, in this game, you gotta also watch, depending what weapons you're using, you have Fallout, Optimal Range, the damage you can do, and you have to watch where everybody else is going. Me, I'm doing these core garrisons because everything comes to me. They don't kind of drift away, so it's kind of nice. I don't have to switch my ammo. I gotta watch how much ammo I'm going through because that might be an issue, another issue. Well, I still got lots. Yeah, I bet you were. I don't mind everything they did. Like, I came back after almost two years off. And I'm enjoying the changes. Um, I want to get into some... I want to get into a Lashak for sure. Um, I've never seen that. I wish I was around when the Trigavian thing, event was going on. I think that would have been cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Just went all out selling everything. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't know what to ship it to. Thanks for the follow. Getting all these follows today. I enjoy that. That's really humbling once coming back from streaming. I haven't streamed in, oh, three months. Okay. Which Marauder? Varger, I bet. I'm kind of partial to the Paladins myself. Um, I can pretty much almost get affiliate now. Um, I think I want to focus more on YouTube. That's why I'm dual broadcasting right now, just to get my channel going on both. But, uh, I, I wouldn't mind being affiliate. I just don't like the rules around affiliate. So, um, I have to broadcast on to Twitch first, and then two days later I can release stuff on YouTube. I kind of don't like that. I kind of, it's kind of dumb that way. 
Um, I'm, I'm really just, I broadcast and I do things because I enjoy playing. Um, I, I don't like the policies and all the politics behind it all. I'm here just because, um, my wife finds me entertaining, likes watching me play games. Um, she's like, you should do this because other people might like you playing games. So that's, I'm here just for the fun of it. Um, I'm going to try to make a schedule more and play some other games because I kind of want to play um, some Valheim because they did some good updates on that as well. So I figure I'll probably do one day Eve, one day Valheim, uh, one day Apex with my wife. Um, just stuff like that. And I just want to kind of make a whole roundabout gaming thing. Valheim. I love Valheim. If you've never played Valheim, it's a early access game. It's on Steam, and it's well worth the look. If you like the whole survival gameplay of stuff, um, definitely look into it. Yeah, I love Valheim. Yeah, <laughs> Valheim will always... So, the first time I tried Valheim, I had to um, quarantine for two weeks. So, it just came out on the day of my quarantine i'm like i need a new game to play my buddy's like hey man new survival game gotta play this survival game so i'm like all right two weeks of valheim straight and i still love that game it is downright an amazing game i love the graphics of it i love the feel of it i love that the survival is there but it's not like overpowering so you know if you just Say if something came up with my two girls and I had to leave. My character would just stand there and the hunger would stop at 25. Wouldn't have to come back to a dead body. It's just, yeah, it's an awesome game. I absolutely love it. Ah. I'm going to be, so, um, my friends also run a Minecraft server. Um, I love playing modded Minecraft, so that might end up somewhere in my stream of things. But, uh, yeah, um, I play just about any games. I might actually reinstall Fortnite because they took building out of it. So that might actually be worth playing a little bit. So I'm just going to be playing a bunch of games. I like playing Halo. I like playing... I just do everything. I love puzzle games. I'm playing Core Keeper. That one's kind of just taken my heart a little bit. I love Core Keeper. It's a good game if you haven't tried that. Ah, oh, man. So I got lucky with a serpent. Me and my buddy were uh, playing together and I was bowing him. But then I didn't realize all the loot drops to the ground. I thought it would float on the water. We, we killed a serpent and we were so mad about that. And then we found out we have to bring him to shore and all that stuff. That just make it more annoying. But, yeah. Um, my number one thing with games like Valheim and stuff and uh, any game in that, if you're not playing with people who enjoy the game as much as you do, and if you're not playing with people, any game gets boring. Even Eve gets boring. If it wasn't for my friends that played with me, um, I would probably not be playing. Yeah, if it's floating on top. When I was playing Valheim, everything sunk to the bottom. So it was kind of, yeah. I heard they did a lot of changes. That's why I want to go back and I'm going to start a new world and see where it goes. What did your corp do? Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, these rats are taking forever to die. Why are they? They're just living. I need to do the opposite of living. That is true. Aha, uh -huh. that happens. And like my friends, they all see me playing Eve. They're like, oh, I want to play Eve. Then they last maybe two days, three days. And then they realize how vast the game is. And 
that there's no set line that they follow, and then they're kind of like, what do I do? And then they lose all interest in Eve. Well, and that's the nice thing. At least they're helping you. I tend to help all my friends. That's just because I've been playing for so long. Alright, next wave is out. I'm doing this a little slower because I'm not paying attention. I'm chatting with everybody. Eve just crashed. <laughs> okay, so which wave am I on? We can sentinel, so the battleships are the thing. So we can kill everything else. Now let's kill some of these guys. <laughs> yeah, I've changed uh <laughs> I've changed my skill queue so many times cuz you're like, "Oh, I want to do this now. I want to do that now." So I figured I would uh, better my missile skills. That was what I started in January. They're still there, but I keep adding stuff in front of them so that it keeps getting pushed. I still don't have Biology 5. Don't beat me up for that. See, that's something... I just, <laughs> so Abyssals, um, they weren't in EVE last time I played EVE, and uh, a lot of the Corp guys I play with, they do Abyssals, and uh, I've been like watching and listening and just trying to figure out, and I watched a couple of videos, and now I'm kind of intrigued, I kind of want to start trying to do Abyssals here, so that'll probably happen in a little bit. Yeah, I'll definitely take a look at it. Um, I've never really ran them, so... All implants and passive. Alright, well, I'll definitely take a look. I'll never say no. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah. Killing some ships. I like mornings like this, where I can just come in and rat away. I rolled all the holes, and then I just started killing. Thanks to Nint, um, he made all the waypoints, so I didn't have to. So that's an even added bonus to that. Uh, it'll be Styrus. S T I R. U.S. Boom. That's it. Yay. So this is for tier 4 gammas. Alright. I'm going to make sure I write that in the title. Well, let's make sure I can fit it first. Uh, fit the fitting in my fits. Because I think I'm over. Um, let's delete some of these hurricane ones. Because everybody knows how to fit a freaking... Hurricane. So are you running the tutorials now, uh, Scott? That starting video and all that? 
I like that. When I made a new tune and I saw that, I was like, okay, this is way better than the tutorial I had when I first started. Like, the tutorial sucked back then. there. Alright, so this is a T4 Gamma? Yeah, Gamma. Thanks for that fit. I'm gonna... Yeah. So if I got mid grades, that'll be fine too. What do you need for the tier fives and the tier six? What implants would you need for that? Mind you, tier four is a good saving point, so I'm gonna save this. Let's see how much that costs. Oh yeah, that's a two bill fit. That's not too bad. Let's see how bad my missile skills are because they're garbage. That's not too bad at all. And Ishtar, I love Ishtars. A buddy of mine just gave me two Ishtars. I was so happy. Just like that. See, maybe I should test them out in the test server before I actually play it in here. Well, that's no fun. I'd rather have the real risk of losing stuff. But, what's the fun in that? My first Varger I tried in a C5, I blew it up. But, the fact is, I had fun doing it. I think, uh testing it out like yeah it's okay to test them out first but where's the fun where's the excitement where's that risk factor you're looking for i'm gonna be testing it like a hundred percent yeah i guess I thought I minimized it. I didn't close it. Maybe I did close it. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's why you need to do crabbing. Then you don't have to worry about it. My crabbing endeavors... One, give me Plex for both of my accounts so that I don't have to pay for my monthly uh, subscription. And it also gives me income to blow up ships. Oh, whole flash. Uh, oh, just a prospect coming in the hole. Damn it, Will Ferrell. One of the corp guys just jumped through. Giving me a minor, uh, minor little heart attack there. Going, uh-oh, what's coming through? I have another tune watching the holes just to make sure I don't get jumped on. And there he is. In a prospect. We all know he's going for gas. That's another thing. I got to go clear that other gas site. Do it after I do the drifter on this one.
Alright, and this one. This is the last wave. Perfect. So let's do battleships first and then cruisers. Um, there is C3s. Uh, there's one C3 up right now that has one data site and four combats. There are three strongholds and a Oruz. But if you want to come in and uh, I can help you roll, give you a new one. <laughs> Thanks, Joker. Just getting all the people today. I'm up to 10 viewers right now. That's pretty cool. I think the highest I had was an 8 or 9, so I've beaten my record. Just a humble old gamer here. Yeah, Joker, uh, Scott, like I said, um, there's kind of a learning curve. It'll take you, you know, give it a solid hour or two and then uh, come back tomorrow with a fresh mind. Watch some YouTube videos because there is a lot of things. The number one thing you want to do is try to figure out how to make income. Um, there's many ways you can do this by running sites, uh, manufacturing, um, ore mining, when you first start off, it seems like there's not much you can do, but another hole flash. And who's in this one? Ah, oh, Ted Barrel. Will's alt. Giving me many heart attacks today. Um, depends what you want to do. Um, I always recommend to people, um, I went the security route doing missions and stuff, but ore mining is a good way to get your foot in how to make some basic income, um, mining some ores, and just getting your foot into how to play EVE. You're also going to realize that people are going to want to shoot you a lot because they like ganking little mining ships. Me personally, I'd rather be the ganky and go after mining ships, but that's all up to you, man. Um, first, I would recommend watching some YouTube videos on how to play EVE, what to do in EVE. Those would be your first starting grounds. I like to do missions myself, so I started with level 1s, lost a couple ships. That was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Oh, it's so beautiful. The sun is out. <laughs> um... Like I said, mine, I kind of went, I want, I play Eve, well, when I first started playing Eve, I did it for PvP. And then I realized that PvP is not easy. And you are going to get outskilled and outmanned by a lot of people. So I figured, well, the next thing to do after PvE is PvE shooting. So I did missions and running sites and finding hideouts and trying to get some of that, uh, cool loot that you can get and that was all right for me for a little bit I dabbled in some mining I'm not a big miner I do it from time to time because I also have an indie guy but yeah mining is not my I do it out of necessity not out of fun
Come on. Die already. Joker, that's because you are a weird, weird man. Alright. This thing's almost done. Get ready to loot this. Look at all that moolah. Ah, uh, let's do this with drones. Might lose one or two, but... Oh, I have a phone call. I'll be back in just a second. Ah, my beautiful wife. I love her so much. So, we're going to a dinner party tomorrow for a uh, goodbye for my wife's friend. And uh, I told her two weeks ago, two weeks ago, do we need to bring anything? She's like, no, 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 everything will be there. Um, you know, we don't have to worry about a thing. And I told her, if you come to me last second and tell me that we had to bring something, that it is on you 100% on you well sure as shit the party's tomorrow and she's like so everybody's bringing something and I just looked at her I'm like come on now what did I tell you she's like I know but you know you're home and I... so I just told her what we'll do and she really liked the idea because I already knew I already knew that this was gonna happen Oh, that wife of mine. I love her, but some days just... <laughs> uh, so now we're going to do a kubasan cheese platter. And if you aren't Ukrainian, it's kind of like a harvest sausage, I guess other people call it. But yeah. Oh, I'm the one that's usually late. My wife's uh my wife's always ready in time. That's where I fall short. I always like have the last thing. But I'm also running around like a chicken with my head cut off most of the time. Now we gotta get drifter fit. So we're going to do a drifter here. So I'll take this up. Oh, God. You don't be annoying. Let's put you down here. Of course, I missed it. I love my wife. Sometimes she drives me nuts, but I love my wife. Uh, I gotta wait. What's activating? Ah. Gotta wait on a timer. Always waiting on the timers. That's my fault. I should have been more on that. Oh, that's fun. Moon harvesting. You gonna get me some moon ore or are you keeping it? RCP is my little buddy and Eve. We do a lot of things together. 
So you'll probably end up seeing him in the stream at some point in time. Uh, approach. Stop moving. Please. God dang it. Mimitar, no! You shut your dirty mouth, we fought for freedom! I'm a Mimitar person, I love Mimitar. Screw the Amar. <laughs> it's always one in every group. Okay, let's put the thermo in here and get ready. Um, now we're going to refit our ship because the timer is done. So let's put this in here, this in here, load up our health, on, take one of these off, throw one of these on. We are drifter fit. Check, 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 check. Good. So now... No, I'm going to leave these up over here. I'm going to move towards the drifter a little bit. I have to be 6k off the furthest point here, so. For the glory of the Empire. <laughs> Always one in every group. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Is this in the high sec or in the hole? Because if it's in the high sack, I can get Victoria up there too. Mind you, I don't have access to a station. Alright. And then we're going to stop here. Launch Bastion. Do my final checks. I know I'm a little precautious. I've already lost a Barger without checking. So now I just make sure of everything, everything's good to go. Now to pull the drifter. So as you're killing, this thing comes up. So to activate the drifter, all you got to do is knock this with one of these. And here comes the drifter. Oops, I don't want to do that. So we'll untarget this. All right, target the drifter. He's going to start coming over here. Then we got to space these out. Just to make sure that we don't die. And now that, that he's coming here, we're going to launch this for self. Alright. Now we got all our ducks in a row here. Everything's good to go. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely take a look at that. We'll talk later about it. And he's coming in rain, so here we go. We're going to launch some drones. Just get that passive DPS on him. And there we go. Into the drifter fight. Love fighting pirates. I love being a pirate. Yeah. So, for the drifter, you want to go thermal first, and then EMP second. So once the shields come down, then you want to hit them with some EMP. It's kind of opposite, but it's what it is. Scott, when you're feeling confident and uh, you want to try a ship fit on me, I'll always be there to duel you a little bit. And then I'll probably buy you another ship because I'll accidentally blow it up. But that happens. Time to time. Ask sheep, he'll tell you. Doing some drifter. Drifter, drifter, drifter. Drifter, no drifting! Ha! 
That is the age-old question, Scott. And that's the number one thing. So, you can mine. You can do missions. You, you got to figure out what you're going to do. Um, industry, building ships is a nice, easy one to get into. Um, but to do building ships, you need material. So, you got to do some mining. You got to go to asteroid belts and have a miner. So, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, missions. Missions pay a little bit at the beginning. Later on, it's not so much. That's why I'm doing this. This is how I make my ISK. So, the new player experience. So, what they'll do is give you um, a skill set. So, uh, whatever you choose. I think it's mining the first one they give you for free. Um, they'll give you all the skills to fly a mining ship at the top notch, which I disagree with this because then they take it away after five days and be like, we're done. And then you got to skill into that, <laughs> but it gives you a insight of what you could be doing with those skills. So it allows you to get into skill ships for shooting, for mining, for things like that. Which is not a bad thing. I just think it just gives you a lot of false hope. And then you're like, oh, well, what do I do now? <laughs> That's why I told you to watch some YouTube videos, Scott. Because uh, it'll if you want to find some quick ways to make is, they'll give you guides on that. But uh, uh, you got to actually go to the mission. So once you accept a mission, you have to save that location wherever it is and warp to that location out of the station. The missions don't just start. You actually have to go there. <laughs> don't listen to Joker. <laughs> I know it's true. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't funny either, but <laughs> it is what it is. You know, it looks really cool. I love to look at the drifter ship. I wish I could actually get one of these. Oh, that looks so cool. The guns don't even touch the ship, which is like the coolest part. They kind of just hover there. So cool. I wish I could have the drifter ship. Yeah, right. I wish. Do you know how OP a drifter ship would be? Like the amount of newt. You just walk in, just newt somebody. Oh, look, I have no power. And then just blah. They wouldn't do that. Well, they'd probably do it and then be like to everybody in Elsa and Eve. Hey, we gave this prayer a drifter ship. You should kill him. My wife is messaging me. That's true. I would never undock with it. Like, ever. I'd be too terrified to. Mind you, if you got to control the drifter... 
it would be very hard to tackle you because all you'd have to do is newt the ta person tackling you and warp away. And see, they only have one newt on me. So that means the newt would be... Oh, just amazing. <laughs> Blah. Oh, you're out of capacitor. Oh, you're out of capacitor. Oh, look, you died. <laughs> yeah, there's that. There is that. God, I wish I made a coffee before this. I might actually take a little break and just uh, make a coffee because I'm running out. not a beer can it's a, a travel mug it's actually my wife's travel mug that I got her oh now I'm screwing up my camera it even has my wife's name on it <laughs> it's just big enough it holds one and a half coffees Well, I'm glad to see there's a lot of people watching my stream today. That makes me uh, really happy. It makes me hopeful that if I keep streaming that more and more people will watch. Because I enjoy showing you guys what I do. Now, some people, this won't be everything for them, but I enjoy doing this. This is why I play EVE. I love doing sites. I love exploring. What is he doing? I don't even know. Nope. Not even a little, Joker. Not even a little. If anything, if anything, I'll do data sites. Alright, so we're going to have to switch ammo here soon. 2% shield remaining. That would be funny. Oh, all right, so switch ammo type. Going to EMB. Do, 
Now we gotta make sure we watch the percentage. Don't wanna miss the uh, bubble again. Oh, let's see how much we owe. What? Oh, no wonder she's in a happy mood. I have to talk to my wife later. I love that woman. Well, we got some exciting news today. I'm actually getting a new screen for my resin printer. I've been It's been kind of out because I... So, I had a tear in my basin. And, uh had a huge tear and it like messed up the screen I tried to clean it as best as I could and I accidentally scraped the uh, the polarized skin off of it which ruined it so now I've been waiting to get a new screen for it and that's coming in today so exciting news expect some fun stuff like this to come around look at that look how cool that is I also do a lot of D&D &D stuff, so there'll be a lot of that coming around. I also have done some Eve ships, so if you guys are interested, I'll show you this test prototype I did of an Astero. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. I got also a couple other ones, but I can't reach them right now, so they're up on the roof there. But yeah, been enjoying my 3D printing and everything, so it's been kind of cool. I like to get more of that on the stream too. Yeah. Sorry, I was just reading some chats. Do that. Do this. I can actually look at the chats. Oh, it's Rag. I wonder how he's been. I haven't talked to him in a while. All right, we're getting close to anchoring this bubble, so I might as well just do it now. Um, I thought about it. I could do it, but uh, I like metal cases better anyways. Plastic tends to heat up, where metal will dissipate if the ambient temperature is cooler. Oh, you have fun with that mining. And then once you're done there... Go find my butter, buddy sheep. He'll fit you a ship and make you mine with him. You'll make lots of money with him. Hey sheep, uh, not sheep, Scott. My name in game is Styrus. Search me and start a conversation with me. I'm going to add you to a channel. A module has run out of hatches. A module has run out of charges. My hair is getting way too long. And if you're wondering where the search bar is, Scott, it's uh, right. So you see above me, I have that scanner probe uh, screen. It'll be right under there. 
You just have to write my name there. No, it's gray hair. I got a lot of grays coming in now. It's getting old, man. That's what happens with old age. I hope I anchored this. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, feels that way. Ah, there's the bubble. I wish it had like a loading timer when you start anchoring that it just like triggers around it. Instead of like, did I do it or did I not do it? And the reason why I do the bubble, I don't know if I said it already, is because he likes to warp away. So... No, I would never do that. <laughs> Just stay there and take it like a man. I don't know, I'm working on a ganking alt, so, uh, yeah, see on my screen, like when you're watching this, I got my scanner probe, uh, probe scanning screen up, the search bar is right under there, I can't move it because it'll show the location I'm in, and I can't do that, but, uh, yeah, it'll be right where that is above me, and so in this region up here, you can see my mouse, hopefully, yeah, it'll be right here, under here, on your main screen. So when you undock from the station, it'll go there. If not, you can go to menu, go to social, uh, not social, personal, and people and places. And then you can search right here, search string, and then just write my name. There also is a quick tab for that menu and I forget how to do it. Oh, it's Alt E. So if you hit Alt E and then just use the search screen. Oh, shush, Joker. Just because you took a break There we go. A module has run out of charges. Alright, so I'm going to take you, Scott, and add you to my channel. Whoop. So just accept that, and then you'll be in my channel. Oh, a new follower. Ragnarok. I believe I didn't see who did it. Oh, the real yeah, it is Ragnarok. I knew it. I just saw it temporarily. Hey, face with the voice. Sup? Probably not the face you're expecting.
But it's the face you're getting. So whatever you do, don't roll that C5, because I'll be angry. It's the face I deserve. <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm going to add Scott to my thing. Boom. Contact. There we go. Roll it. Screw you, Joker. Alright, time to unanchor this bulb. Yes, sir. That's my personal channel. I love the good old rusty bucket. If I ever had a tavern, that's what it'd be called. I mean a bar. Man, I'm too old-fashioned for this. But if you ever need help, Scott, those guys, everybody in that channel will help you. Yeah, but you know what? A tavern couldn't be a real tavern nowadays because, like, all the amount of smoke and everything else that would be in a tavern. And you know what? I would love to run a tavern-style bar and, like, have, like, real turkey legs and a huge thing of ham. And I wish it would be popular. And I don't think that kind of industry, well, building would do well in today's day and age. It might do fun for a year, and then after that, I'll probably go... I need to move to a place where there's more people. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely rag. <laughs> Is there any other? And they gotta, like, do that spit shine on that mug. And I said mug. Well, I'd go, too. I'd probably never leave. I'd be that big old barkeep at the back. Hole oh, there! What ails you, my poor friend? Welcome to the Rusty Bucket. Should he be a bouncer? Maybe bouncing off the floor. <laughs> Um, you probably closed it, but it should have popped up when we uh, brought you into it. Um, so what you can do is right click on your chat channel here. Go to open channels. And it'll actually be under uh, my channels. And then you'll see it right there. Or it might be under player channels for you. So you'll have to go under player channels and just join it on the side. Just going to close all these. <laughs> Sheep, I do it out of love, man. If what? Oh, that sucks. I ran out of EMP. Oh, looks like I'll be doing an ammo run after this. Let's scoop up this bubble. And then, is he almost about to die? Yes, so I can undo that. And then we'll approach this. Scoop up the drones. And we're done here. No, I need to get a bunch of ammo anyways. I got so much of it that I've been using. So, um, I should go back and really deposit all my blue loot anyways because there's a lot of that in my inventory get him 
The bloody hand skin. I love this skin. You know what skin I also like? Blue Tiger. Look at this one. Oh yes, look at you. In all your magnificence. Open loot. And there's 400 and something million. So we'll scoop this. Scoop into cargo hole. Boop. And then we'll do... Might as well use the fitting service. So I can get ready for the next fight. Don't need you, don't need you, need you, need you too, don't need you, need you, check, 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 all good. And we'll scoop you up, scoop to cargo hold, and that's another site done. Remove, and now we're just going to do this for right now. Because I don't want you guys to see where I'm going. Makes it safe. Uh, I had my first burger like a month ago, but I'm too scared to lose it. Stupid ratting, I never use it. Hello. Yeah, Sheep's the same way. He's got a freaking a 4 billion chrono sitting in high sec and won't use it. Sheep. Sorry, I'm a little bitter about it. <laughs> no, no, rag. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. I bought him the ship. That's the worst part. <laughs> right now would you feel as bad losing it if it was given to you probably not no excuses no excuses huh <laughs> <sighs> Oh well. It is what it is. Whenever you want, sheep. I also know that we can do incursions too, so I'm not too fussed about it. Oh, the only thing you missed is, you know, I bought sheep a marauder to go crabbing and it's still sitting in high sec. <laughs> you got to spend money to make money. That's what I'm doing here today. Here, I'll redrop you in here, Scott. Give me a sec. Um I'm gonna kick you out of here. Kick. Okay, I kick you out of the channel. I have to wait a minute before I can invite you back. <laughs> Joker's funny. All right, get this blue loot in the hole. Nice. We're up to how much blue loot today? We're up to 1.5. You know what? Um, my wife would like to go to lunch for me, so I'm probably going to call that here today because that's been an hour and a half. Um, 
stay tuned. I'll try to broadcast every day if I can and uh, go from there. I'd like to thank all of you for following and joining and all my new followers today. Hopefully you all keep coming in. Um, I appreciate it all. Much love. Love you all. Um, fly safe if you're in Eve. Enjoy your day if you're in another game. Have a good one, guys.